Welcome back to another Friday Fishing Report, everybody. If you don't know who I am and you're new to the channel, my name is Captain Jason Dozier and I'm a full-time fishing guide here in Tampa Bay. My channel's all about helping you guys catch more fish, become better anglers, and showing you what it's really like to be a full-time fishing guide and going and catching some fish in some pretty cool places. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and the most important thing is, hit that bell notification because that's gonna make sure you get all of my videos delivered right to the notifications on your phone. Let's go ahead and get into this weekend's fishing weather forecast. Weather-wise for this weekend, it's been a pretty warm week compared to what we have been seeing. Up until this past weekend, it was really cold and pretty much average to below average temperatures every day. But this week has been definitely above average temperatures. We've been having highs in the 70s and lows uh, on the water in the like 55s. So let's go ahead and see what the weather's gonna be like for you guys out there on the water this weekend. For Friday, we're gonna have a low of 62 and a high of 67. And that's gonna be mostly sunny conditions. Let's go ahead and go over the weather for Saturday. We're gonna have a low of 60 degrees and a high of 68 degrees. And it's gonna be sunny to partly cloudy. Sunday is more of the same, except a little bit warmer. We're gonna have a low of 62 and a high of 71 and also sunny to partly cloudy. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you are dressed in layers. It's gonna be kind of chilly in the morning and you're pretty much gonna be dressed down to shorts, flip flops, and a fishing t-shirt in the afternoon or at least that's what I've been doing and I've been wearing pants and a jacket in the morning and then going down all the way to flip flop and shorts and a long sleeve shirt for the afternoon. Let's go ahead and check out what the wind's gonna be like in Tampa Bay for this weekend. We're gonna go ahead and click over here to Saturday, January 23rd at 7 a.m. And we're gonna go ahead and just blow through all of this information right here. So 7 a.m. it looks like we're gonna have zero to five knots out of the uh, west at 7 a.m. and just variable and light all the way through until dark. So Saturday is gonna be a very good day wind-wise. Speaking for Sunday, January 24th, 7 a.m easterly winds but still less than 10 knots so calm conditions and then it just dies off to almost nothing when you're seeing these small lines here on the map on wind finder that means that there's almost no measurable wind so the longer the line the bigger the gust of wind that's going to be coming through and we just don't have any wind this entire weekend so if you have a small boat this weekend is going to be a great weekend to do whatever you want on tampa bay as long as you do it smartly. It's just gonna be a great January, end of January weather pattern that you definitely should be spending time outside with your family and friends and why not do it on a boat? Now let's go ahead and move on over to the tides because tides are, as everyone knows, a very important thing when you're going fishing. And this weekend, we're not gonna have much of anything. So we have a low tide at 5.52 a.m. And that's it. That's the that's the low tide, and we have a high tide at 10:16 p.m. So we have one tide the entire span of the day, almost for 20 hours. That's one tide. So the fishing is gonna be kind of rough. And put that with we have super big high pressure over top of Tampa right now, and it's it's holding fast. It's not moving very much. It's just. It was a tough week of fish. Let's see if Sunday is going to be any different for us tide-wise, and it's not. We have a low tide at 6:45 and a high tide at 11:05 p.m. And there's just there's really nothing you can do about this tide. I fished it today, Friday. We struggled all day for bites. I mean, the water was literally at the same level this morning when I left the dock and when I came back at 2 p.m. Maybe it was an inch or two higher. So that's the amount of water that's going to be flowing into the bay, and we have no wind to help influence the tide or push it one way or the other this weekend. So you can catch fish. We caught fish this weekend, but we worked our butts off for every bite we got. We'll go a little bit more into detail about what we caught and what I've been doing to get those bites a little bit later in the report. Lastly, let's go ahead and check out the salooners. Salooners have been a big part of my bite this week, especially with the slower tides. We have an average activity salooner at 8.20 a.m. to 10.20 a.m. And then another one from 1.49 p.m. to 2.49 p.m. And I've been fishing morning trips this week. 
and that has been coinciding with where I've been catching the most fish, when most of my bites have been coming from. Let's click over to Sunday Salooners, and there's a high activity salooner from 7.35 a.m. to 9.35 a.m., and then another high activity one from 1.12 p.m. to 2.12 p.m. So let me know if these salooners coincide when we, when you guys are catching more fish. They've definitely been coinciding with when I've been getting most of my bites. Moving on to fishing this week and what I've been catching. This week has been kind of a rough week with the way the tides have been, but we have caught a few cobia this week. If you find them, you probably can get them to eat, but they've been actually like laying perfectly still on the bottom and like almost like camoing in with the sand, so they've been really hard to sight fish this week. The trout bite has been pretty consistent, but still slower than it has been in the past couple weeks. And I get, again, everybody, I think this has a lot to do with dominant high pressure over the bay, slow tides, and just overall warmer weather than what the fish have been used to. So the pattern's just changing. I'll probably be on the new pattern here by the end of this week. If it stays consistent, I know we have a, another front coming through late Thursday of this week coming up. So we'll see what actually is gonna happen with that for sure. Redfish have been in the potholes on the low tides. We're gonna be having a lot of low tides coming up this following week. So if you are gonna be fishing and getting out there, make sure you coincide your fishing to the low negative tides. And you should be able to catch redfish if you find mullet. The redfish have been all in the mullet the pa this past week. And so have the trout in the potholes and the deeper cuts. And pretty much anywhere you think you would find a trout when the weather's a little bit cooler, they are there right now. Uh, snook, I haven't caught a snook in probably a month. And I don't anticipate or even plan on trying to fish for a snook until that water temperature gets to around 68 degrees, which we were only 4 degrees off uh, today. So we are going to be getting there pretty soon if we keep having this warm weather like we will. But... As you guys know, March is usually a pretty good time of year. We get a few big cold fronts that will hold our water temps down uh, going into uh, you know the second week of March. But hope you enjoyed this video. If you find my fishing reports helpful, please let me know in the comments. Let me know if the salooners also work for you guys. If you're getting any bites during these salooner times, if you only get bites outside of the salooner times, let me know because I want to know if salooners are actually working for everybody else. Also, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell notification, so that way you get every single video and every single post that I have delivered right to your phone so you won't miss out on any of my content. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you guys next Friday. See you on the water.